hanging out playing a little Doyle Byron Hall. Um, he had an album out in 2018 called Shades. Great album. Um, the song Everything You Need has clapped in on the actual studio version, but I like a lot of his live versions out there on YouTube. Cool chord changes in. He's got that G minor to a flat B to C minor 7th. To D seven. And he starts hitting all those like minor sevens. <laughs> Passing chords. <laughs> Anyways, just having a little fun with Doyle. So Doyle used to be in a band called Archangels, and I used to love going to see the Archangels. So a friend of mine, uh, Scott Rudadal, he's a music therapist. He's soon to be on the show, I think. Um, have him on here with the interview. We've gone out and watched him. They used to be at the Blues Fest in Tulsa. Archangels would come out. You got Double Trouble, Charlie Sexton, Doyle Bramhall II, man. It was really cool. You sit out there and just watch them guys jam, man. Doyle's just got that sound. <laughs> over for Stevie Ray Vaughan, you know, and later played with Clapton, Cheryl Crow, he's played with Roger Waters, I think, he's played with just about everybody, but um, that brings up my point for the episode today as we're, I'm sitting here. There was a release that just came out, news here in town, that the Eagles were showing up with Steely Dan. So what do you guys think about that? You guys think, like, um, going to see some of these old bands is worth it or not? I gotta tell you, I saw, I saw the Eagles... Last time they were in town, and they put on a heck of a show, man. They, they killed it. Um, you had Vince Gill filling in, and he's from Oklahoma originally, uh, sitting up in the cheap seats. And there was a guy next to me. He went to high school with Vince Gill, so he was giving me some uh, insight back when Vince Gill used to live in Oklahoma as a kid and stuff, how good he was and all the high school stuff. But it was pretty cool. Um, it was neat. But the show was fantastic. There was like cinematography going on in the background. Uh, the Eagles had so much going on. It was amazing. Hotel California, the whole album front to back. Then they played some hits after. They had like a symphony that came up behind them. They had choirs showing up in there. I mean, it was a heck of a show and it was really neat. But you know, a lot of my friends out there, are, they really aren't interested in going to see some of the older bands. They don't really want to pay a lot of money to go see some of these guys. Not sure how you guys feel about it. You know, let me know how you feel. Um, I know I'll just, if I go, I'll probably just buy the cheap seats, sit up 300 sections, something like that. But it's always, you know, a good show for me. I love seeing these guys, Joe Walsh and Don Henley. But then again, I grew up in the 70s and 80s, went to high school in the 80s, so I'm an MTV guy. And seeing some of these bands still play and doing well, you know, kind of lifts my spirit a little bit. It's pretty cool. Don't know how much longer they're going to be around. Um, but, you know, in the metal scene, for those of us that grew up watching all the hair metal, they're back around a lot of them guys. Them cats are still playing, and 
you know, it's always like the last tour that they go on. So you've got the, <laughs> you've got like the Motley Crue final tour and the Motley Crue back again. And, and so a lot of friends my age now are on Facebook and everything from high school, you know, we're in these little groups and stuff and messaging and see all the comments and all the bands come back through. And like a lot of them don't really want to go back out and see some of these guys when they're on their final tour. Maybe uh, they don't sound as good, but the singer isn't as good. But um, if you watch shows like That Rocks on YouTube with uh, Eddie Trunk and all them guys, they'll tell you, like, to go out to see one of the first shows on their tours could possibly not be that great because they're still getting their act together. They're still getting their their um, their singing voice down, their vocals and melodies, all that. You know, maybe catch them on the 12th or 10th show of the tour. But then again, if you wait too long, Maybe there's some injuries or there's vocal injuries, physical injuries or something. They can't continue the tour. So you've always got that conundrum. You know, do you want to catch them early? Do you, you know, do you want a chance catching them late and they, they don't play? But I'm um, not sure. You know, everybody's got their opinions on it. There's no right or wrong on whether or not you should go see some of these old bands touring. Um, it makes me think about the first band that I was really into. A friend of mine, we, we reconnected recently on Facebook, Adrian. We went to Catholic grade school together, and I'd get bussed in from the country into the suburbs. And, man, this had to be, like, somewhere around 82, something like that. And I come in, and he's got a little cassette player. You slide the cassette in, close the lid. It's got a little handle that slid out, you know. Um, kind of dating myself, but he was, he was playing a tape because his brother went to a concert and recorded some, like, footage, audio footage from the band. And... Man, it like it, it like got me right away. So that band, I knew the song because I'd already been on the radio at that time in '82. Had been around for a little bit, and it killed me. I was just like, "What is that song?" And then I, I remember it now. Thinking about it, it was uh, "Lights" by Journey. So my friend Adrian's brother had gone to see Journey, and recorded it somehow with a little private recorder in his coat pocket or something. But hearing them for the first time, I was like, man, I got to go out there. So I ended up taking my chore money and going and finding the current album, which was a new album at the time for Journey called Escape. Yeah. Um, listening to that thing front to back, just constantly just traveling on the bus into the Catholic grade school, just hanging out, just hearing that music. And they're still touring. So we all know they've got different singer and everything now that will the Filipino guy just kills it, man. He's awesome. So Steve Perry's back out again a little bit with some releases. He's been on YouTube. Um, don't know if they'll ever get back together again. It'd be pretty cool if they did. I've been a huge Neil Sean fan. So when he played with Hagar, when he played with Bad English and all that in the 80s, and he also had solo albums of Narada. I had all that stuff and still do. Still listen to it once in a while. Uh, he's Neil Sean's the man. But, you know, Def Leppard's out touring again. Um, last year I caught Scorpions with a buddy of mine, Homer, in town. We went out. That's how I ended up starting this channel, actually, because of that concert we went to. As a veteran, I get, through Vet Ticks, I get a uh, special discount. It's like $14 for, like, four tickets to a lot of these shows. Saw Daryl Hall for the same price, like 14 bucks. Can't go wrong. Um, but sometimes these shows are midweek. And midweek can cause a problem. Like, my wife needs to get up at, like, 4.30 in the morning and get ready for work and stuff. So if we're at a concert past 10 at night on a midweek, it kind of gets kind of gets old. But, you know, that's showing my age right there. You know, and uh, I just think, you know, what do you do with some of these old bands coming around? You go catch them? You might not see them again anymore, you know? Or did they have their time to shine and it's already gone by so what do you guys think about it you know send, put a message in the episode here and let me know um, maybe you saw one that you thought would be great and it wasn't so a few years ago I'm talking like almost 20 years ago now I we went and saw Little River Band here in Tulsa we were living in Tulsa at the time back again actually in Owasso now but um, we saw Little River Band after like a 10k race half marathon or something and uh, unfortunately, they had a bad night. It didn't sound that good at all. And that was a little iffy to think like, oh, man, should I go back and see some of these old bands again? But some of the other bands are killing it. Some good reviews of Def Leppard. Scorpions last year had a great show. They were fantastic. Sounded wonderful. 
Uh, Journey, I've seen a couple times. It sounded really good. So let me know what you guys think, man. Is the Eagles worth it? Um, and what was that one song they used to do? You guys know the song. Anyways, <laughs> butchering it. But the thing is, is uh, the classic. It's iconic sounds. And if you can catch Vince Gill out there on tour, totally recommend it. So, uh, all right. Hope everybody's doing okay. We've got some more episodes coming up. We've got interviews lined up. Hopefully um, some studio stuff um, where we're in some famous studios, some guitar effects makers, some stuff like that coming up possibly. So uh, stay tuned. We've got more shorts coming up. We've got people out on the road that we're keeping up with right now. So there'll be um, a whole new programming coming down the pipeline. Hope you guys are doing well. And, uh, you know, peace out, man. And back to that Doyle song, man. Peace, man.